Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, today I have two smiley Amazon packages and I thought you'd like to have a look at them with me. Uh, one of them is a bargain and one of them is a just, oh, I love that, I'm going to have to get that. So, <laughs> uh, I think this is the, oh, I'm going to have to get that one because this one's a bit thinner. So, I'll pop that one to one side and we'll have a look at this one. Where's the end? Where's the end? Oh, okay. oh, I'm going to have to stop looking on Amazon. It's no good. It's uh, it's addictive. It's addictive. I definitely now have two hobbies. One actually doing diamond paintings and one collecting diamond paintings. And this is my collector's phase. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a special real diamond painting. You wouldn't expect anything else from me, at least once in an unboxing. Uh, but I do like my specials because I'm just mad on bling. I love anything sparkly and I just love the effect of how they come out. And because I swap my canvases around quite a lot and I do my little displays and things, uh, then I just like ones that are a bit smaller and a little bit quicker to do so I can swap them all out and have different ones up at all times so yay so as you can see lots of sparkle oh look we've got owl claws is it an owl da, 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 da. and basic toolkit with is that one bag no we've got two grip seal bags there okay yeah so this was from the oh it were on to Decid B D-C-I-D-B-I-E store again, which seems to be one that pops up quite a bit. Um, actually, quite possibly, I was looking at some of the, um, as you probably know, I use the, the Vipon app, not affiliated, don't get any commission or anything, but it's like linked, it's a bit like Groupon, voucher, all those kind of things, but it's for Amazon. Uh, well, it's not just for Amazon, they do other things as well. I'm rabbiting, sorry. Um, so maybe I should say bunnying. <laughs> it's a bunny. Uh, yeah, so I was probably looking at some of the coupon ones. And when you go into some of the coupon ones, other pictures come up as well. And other things and offers come up as well. So this one came up and wow, how spooky and scary is that? I just loved it. I just couldn't resist. I just thought, oh my goodness. I know it's a bit early for Halloween, but I know that Hocus Pocus 2, the film's coming out soon. So I'm going to have a, a bigger Halloween display this year. Yay! I don't like Halloween. Uh, it is seven different jewels. I nearly said nine then. Can't flip and see. <laughs> yeah, it's seven different uh, gems and colours. And I think you can see, look, we've even got knuckles on the skeletal fingers and it was the eyes as well i just thought oh i've not seen that one before and it really drew me to it and i'm thinking that those orange uh, little things are going to be its teeth Yee! uh it's crying out for uh, glow in the dark drills as well which i have ordered some more glow in the dark drills because i do want my halloween to frighten hubby <laughs> Okay, so this is a very stiff canvas. Um, it's going to take a lot of flattening and it may even need ironing. Uh, you can iron your canvases, iron them on the back, obviously, please don't uh, iron the glue. Um, it is a partial. And oh, that's a bit uh, sticky there, that's grabbed onto it quite a lot. That's a bit scary. But yeah, we've, we've just recently watched the uh, new Halloween film with that Jamie Lee Curtis in it again. Um, I, was, I remember the original one coming out, blimey. I wasn't allowed to go and see it, I wasn't old enough. <laughs> but I think eventually we sneaked and saw DVD. As you, DVD, you know, it was a videotape in those days, as you used to. Uh, but yeah, I just thought, oh, that is going to look spooktacular for Halloween. So that's why I got him. And he only cost me £4.99. Uh, it does say it's 30 by 40, but I think the canvas size will be smaller than that. She says desperately looking for her tape measure. Oh, there it is. My tape measure with the Scotty dog on it from the lovely Chris. 
end let me just give this one a quick measure so that is 24 centimeters i'm measuring the colored background i do like the fact that it's a dark brown background i don't know whether you can see that yeah it's not really showing up sorry about the glare um but it is actually a very deep chocolate dark background it's got a little bit of a, an ombre effect um in the background there his cloak is so rather than it being stark black which oh <laughs> just seeing what my tape measure's doing sorry <clears throat> um and uh, then it's 34 yeah so instead of it being stark black it is brown which i think is just going to make the oranges pop that bit more black sometimes particularly on something scary although you think of everything like black and dark and you know midnight and everything um just having that little bit of different shade can make things just pop out that little bit more black can be a little bit flat when you're using it on a picture so let's have a look at these special nails. just my opinions of course but uh, yeah I, I do like to see a little bit of color Ooh, sparkle, sparkle. so this one's gonna have to go away until a bit nearer the time um, I don't know whether anybody's heard anything about drills and chills for 2022. I know we're maybe a bit early, although it's June next week. So June, July, August, September. Oh, I suppose, yeah, we are still quite a bit far away. Because <laughs> I keep seeing all the uh, adverts for the new Hocus Pocus film. And I love that film. I can watch it over and over again. Right, so we've got a lovely royal yellow lemony lilla yellowy gold there beautiful orange color really sparkly these look nice as well there's no dust in these packets very very sparkly and then a very palish peach and then we have the blue um sort of edge in there and they are a b coated and as i've said in the past you do tend to find that quite a few special drills rather than using a black again because of the flatness of the color do tend to use either this AB or a black AB, which is like green um, or like the bluey coated, just to outline the edges, just makes it stand out. Black again can be just that little bit stark on edging sometimes. Depends on your style of your picture and everything. Uh, and we've got some little pale gold teardrops, which, where are they going to, oh, they're around the eyes. Oh, they're going to go around the eyes. Ooh. And then these are definitely number two and number one yet yeah, so number two is going to be the teeth it's going to oh it's going to have orange teeth Ooh. so yeah i always think of those as owl claws because most of the pictures i've got with owls have got those in on the claws <laughs> and then we're going to have round faceted bright red on the knuckles look at those wow so all these knuckles yeah oh that's really going to stand out creepy pictures yay so i like that one that's going to be fun to do and there's something that you can just sit and do in an evening and as i say sometimes i just like to be able to complete a project um sometimes i mean i've got projects that i've had on the go a while I've got one that I've had on the go since January and I must get it finished. Uh, but then I see something else and I think, oh, look, another diamond painting. So let's just put uh, Mr. Creepy on the side there and we'll have a look at the other one. OK, and this is another one. That is very me. Um, is that very me? No. Well, yeah, it's blingy. <laughs> Put it that way around so you can oh you can more or less see there's something there okay and oh didn't say whether it's round or square let me have a look at this one and this one this one i did use a vipon coupon on and it would have been nine pound 99 and it cost me £4.99 and it is from the oh my goodness um P-U-T-I-B-U-T-U-I Putty But You Store I'll put the links down below 
uh yeah <laughs> i'm sorry family just made that name terrible um, but this was that I couldn't resist. Oh, look, we've got an escapee. Oh, no, we've got something squished. Oh, what's that? Let me have a look. So it's a different store. Oh, oh okay. So we have ooh, different things in this toolkit. Let me just uh, move that one out of the way a second. Let's have a look at this toolkit. So I know a lot of people don't like getting toolkits, and I know it can seem quite a waste getting a toolkit. Oh, I can't get into this. the end i'm sure they do this just to annoy me <laughs> hey and it works so we've got a pink pen oh we've got the little tear off strip to make it sticky that's very staticky we have a red pen grip which i don't know if i've got a red one i'm collecting all the different colors so i can get one of each color so yeah they just go onto your pink pens if you like using your pink pen um, or you just want to use your pink pen you've just started but you want something that's a little bit uh, thicker to grip and something that you're not going to your hands aren't going to slip on um, particularly I mean today is a very very humid day here in the UK um, so yeah something rather than just holding on to plastic and possibly your hands uh, getting a little bit wet and not being able to hold on your little grips just help you hold on to your pen a bit better i hope i'm explaining that all right <laughs> uh, yeah two squares of wax it looks like it's the pink wax though that can be not quite as good as the red wax and then we have two places which we have a nine placer and a three placer they are the fatter older ones um which means that the plastic's that little bit thicker but i find particularly the three placer can actually be quite good for oh let me just get you a bit closer yeah i think you can see that oh yeah the three placer can be quite good for ki kicking <laughs> picking up special drills i don't kick my drills honest no drills were harmed in the making of this video <laughs> um because you've got that just that little bit more surface area on it so but give it a try see what you think um otherwise they all just get donated to charity okay and a nice little white flat bottomed boat with a spout which are always handy particularly if you say doing a special drill painting and you're just using you know a small amount of drills or your larger drills they're just easier sometimes to pick up uh, from a smaller drill okay so pop those back in there so one up from the standard toolkit that's quite nice like that so I like my red uh, cover right so now then let me oh look we've got another one as well what is going on please don't keep sending me your rubbish i've got enough of my own i don't need somebody else's and these are very very static i've got all three look one from each packet oh dear don't be sending me your rubbish right oh drills look pretty good uh, we've got your code number there of your canvas which is your code number up there as well on the top so if you separate your drills from your canvas you can see it and i think you can possibly see the picture a little bit <laughs> i'm just going to investigate this strange thing that's squished on the back here just one moment right i've had a good investigation i think it's a bit of plastic um residue plastic it's not a bug or anything if it had been a bug you possibly wouldn't have got to see this video <laughs> Okay, again, it's a very stiff canvas. They've come from separate places on separate orders. Um, but yeah, both very stiff canvases today. But look at that. How cute is he? Or she? But I just could not resist. Who could resist those eyes looking at you? And we've got a little chew stick here. This is my chew stick and I'm keeping it. <laughs> I just absolutely adored it. And yeah, my no buy using Vipon coupons has gone out the window because I just could not resist this little pup. And I do think it is quite a young one as well because it looks like it's got really big paws, which means it hasn't quite grown into its paws yet. It's always People always say it's one way to tell whether you're going to have a big dog or not. When it's a puppy, it depends on the size of its paws because they've got to grow into them. 
with Millie, our Scottish Terrier, it was Aria's. Aria's were enormous when she was a puppy. So, yeah, we said, oh, she's got to grow into them, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell her that. Oh, dear. Right, we have 20 different colours. And the key code is 1 down to 8. And then all capital letters after that. And we do have the MC codes. Let's just see if we can flatten this one out a little bit. It tends not to have quite so much problem um, when you've got a full drill canvas as this is. And it is round drills as well. Because the creases that can get covered over any of the creases flatten. And they flatten enough so that when they're covered over with the drills, it will come out as a flat picture. You don't very often have to iron um, a full drill canvas. You tend to find it can be just the special drill canvases that you do need to iron because you do get like bits where there's no drills and it, it is a bit noticeable sometimes on some canvases. So, yeah, oh, just absolutely adore that. Oh, you know me and my animals. I don't like my little dogs. And uh, yeah, I've never met a sane boxer. Apologies if you've got a boxer dog, but I think they're all mad as a box of frogs. <laughs> the ones I've met just seem to love you, be all legs and just get themselves into all sorts of funny scrapes. And uh, yeah, oh, but that is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Quick measure, it's supposed to be 40 by 30, but it is oh about 34-ish by about 24-ish. So yeah, you, you lose your edgings there, but it'll go nicely in a 30 by 40 frame or a 40 by 30 frame because it goes the other way. A nice clear drill field. I mean look at those G's. That's a lot of colour block in there. Anybody that likes to use the multiplacer, again, sorry for the glare, but yeah, you can read those G's. And uh, even, what are they? They're number twos all uh, across the back there. So it looks like we've got like a skirting board or something. Um, but yeah, must have been a good dog, this one, because he's got his uh, chew stick in his mouth. But oh, I, just, I just fell in love. Couldn't resist it. Right, let's have a look at these drills. Where's the end? Where's the end? Yeah, when you're sending me rubbish, the little things that come off the uh, sticky part of your bags, can you please just leave the bags open a little bit so I can see where it is? Now then. There it is. Oh, look, now all the sticky's coming off. Let's just pull that then. Let's get rid of that sticky. Get rid of that sticky, otherwise it's going to get stuck to everything. Okay, so it's got some colours, quite nice. Lovely cat. Oh, just those eyes. You're just drawn into the... Could you refuse that little pup anything? Oh, please, mummy, I'm so starved. I haven't been fed for six months. Well, my tea last night doesn't really count and my breakfast this morning doesn't really count either. <laughs> Maybe that's just Millie. <laughs> What's this one then? Oh, that's number 13. They've put separately. Oh, we've got two bags of 13. That's why. Okay. So, oh, lovely colours. Very, very pretty colour palette, this one. So we've got this, like, bluey aqua green. Well, it's not really aqua, but it's like a bluey greeny colour. Sea green. Yeah, sea green. Um, I suspect that is 310, which there isn't that much of it. Oh. We've got a grey, which has got some uh, black three tens have escaped into the grey party. And then we have some peach colour and some more greys. I think these will be the shading around the bottom and on the, on the dog. And like a butterscotch colour and a pale of peach. And a little tiny bit of red, which I think will go on his little jewel stick down here. And then we've got brown and a very dark green. Ooh. And a darker brown with a little peach as escaped into that one. And a lovely dark midnighty blue. And a bit richer chestnut. And like a sagey greeny colour. And another couple of blues. Oh, look at that one. That's pretty. And then some more browns. And then just a little bit of... Is that 3865 at the end there? 
yeah, that's a 3865, which is a pale, creamy, whitey colour. Okay, right, let me see if I can get these back in now. Oh, look, this is just not going to work, is it? Hang on. Let's say we did then get the two bags of number 13. Oh, we're lucky for some. Okay. I'm just getting those down. So, that is uh, fab. Look at those. So, just uh, £4.99 each. I mean, to be, be lucky to go out and get a cup of coffee and a bun for £4.99. And I'll get a lot more pleasure out of doing these. Well, no, no, I'm trying not to eat buns at the minute. Uh, my clothes are really, really tight at the minute. Uh, we've been going out and having a good time and uh, having a lot of uh, buns and cakes and things. And Hubby's been baking quite a few buns. So, yeah. Okay. So, that's my beautiful little box set and my very, very scary pumpkin head skeleton for Halloween. Woo! Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, pop them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you've really enjoyed looking at these, a thumbs up's always much appreciated because it just lets me know that you've enjoyed the video and you want to see a bit more. <laughs> and if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see these possibly completed, that one will be quite a while before it's completed. Well, the way this year's going, I mean, month five now, one of the five months could just absolutely fly. Uh, if you press that subscribe button in the corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.